Hi guys, welcome to a video vlog, a vlog on making a set of box flowers. I've been seeing a lot of these popping up on uh, my Instagram feed and they're gorgeous, lush floral arrangements in boxes with like a ribbon. Um, usually it's roses, those are my favorites that I've been seeing, so that's what I'm going to try and do today. I have a box that I got from Paper Source. Um, don't know what the dimensions are. Seven and a half inch square box. I went to Kit Craft and I picked up um, two of these green floral foam bars. They're like bricks. I'll show you after. Anyway, they're, they're like bricks of foam and I think the roses are gonna get stuck into there. I put water in here. Um, and then I got some cellophane from the dollar store to line the box. I have these gold foil labels from Paper Source. They're printable, so you can actually run them right through the printer, um, but I may do some hand lettering. I'm gonna play around with it and see what I like best, and that's gonna go in the front of the box. All right, let's get started. I don't know if you can see where I'm about to cut. Oh, gratifying. I don't know why that felt so good, but it did. Okay, is this gonna fit in here? Nope, because I didn't measure. Who cares, I like cutting this stuff, so I'm gonna cut off another chunk. It's like toast. Not really. Okay. It fits now. Okay, so there's my one. Okay. So, got my box, got my foam bricks that I cut down. Now I have cellophane from the dollar store. I'm gonna just cut, I don't know, a little bit and lay it in the bottom of the box to protect the box, I guess, to hold the water a little bit better. By the way, I'm not following any instructions. Um, I just, I'm guessing that this is how they're made. So I'm tucking the cellophane into the box. First, that looks pretty good. ruler or math but I'm not going to do that I'm just trimming around the top of the box right around here and the cellophane is just going to sit nicely in there so I don't want any of it to peek over the top I want the top to be very clean looking. Okay, I've got my excess cello cut. Now I'm going to pop my bricks in here, I think. Seems easy enough. Nope. Oops. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Okay, I got one in there. Get the other one in there. Okay. It has to be a little bit more shallow. So good to chop it. Make sure work. really good. Put all my tools aside over there and here comes the main event. Look at these beautiful roses. So fun fact, roses go on sale after Valentine's Day. So these were not that expensive. This would have cost you Probably on Valentine's Day, like 85 bucks, because I just overcharge. 
Um, but we got these today for uh, around 30 bucks. So it was a good deal. All right, I'm not gonna make you watch me cut all of these, but I will tell you, I'm going to try and get it so that the roses are just barely peeking out the top. So I'm just gonna start cutting right around here, okay? of roses here that I've cut all to the same height and I've started I put one in there I think I'm gonna start in the corner now and just kind of push them in get them a good width apart I want them to look like really full. So, I don't know, we'll see. I think so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna do one row. is just getting them perfectly symmetrical right symmetrical so that they're all even and they're all spaced um, out the same way so there is definitely I mean floral arranging is a craft and I certainly am NOT a florist but um, this is fun and I think it's gonna be really cool I'm gonna keep going here my beautiful rose box I'm beyond excited at the results uh, I decided to add um, some gold ribbon from paper source I did just a simple square knot and then for the labels I also got these from paper source I just I'm not great with label printing and you know I don't measure so it's not perfectly even but that's what makes it go freestyle um, but I just did like a simple font and I, and I printed out a little label and I think it's so pretty and I'm really excited. So thank you for watching. Um, please post any comments or questions and I will uh, answer them to my best, with my best knowledge. Thank you for watching. See you next time.